Right then, so you want about 75 centimetres of ribbon. Off. And you're going to form it, you're going to fold it in half so that you've got a loop. And with your loop in one hand, like that, you're going to just Put it in place and hold it where the join is. This tail you're going to bring under and through the other side. And then it's coming back over the top and you're going to take one tail either side of your ribbon. To say the narrower the ribbon is at this on this point, the easier it is to manipulate. But uh, you get nice coverage with it. And at the back, you just see where how it crosses over and comes over to the front. And it's crossing over again, and you're going to make a knot. Uh, requires a little bit of manual dexterity, a bit of manoeuvring because you don't want to lose your loop. Uh, that's a hold, depending on which side to hold it. All right then, so it's holding it in place and just pull that firmly so that now you have a knot around the top and it's holding that loop in place. So this side, I'm going to whichever way, if they the flatter, you're going to fold it through back round through to the other side. There we go. And back over to the front, and you're just going to repeat that with a knot. There we go, and then you're going to tie a bow. If you want to, you can have your ribbon longer, it's up to you. But you can make shorter. But what you want to do is once you've tied your bow, you're just going to tidy the ends off just by cutting at a 45 degree angle from the corner. That's from the, where it's on the roll. So I'm just going to cut that end off because that's had a sticky tape on it. There we go. And you're just going to manipulate your ribbon so you're happy with it. And then you're going to have a hanging loop 